Deborah, they say it's clear the system isn't working, especially when it comes to home detention and electronic monitoring. They are still trying to find solutions to curb violent juvenile crime. It's been extremely frustrating. Baltimore City State's Attorney Ivan Bates on violent juvenile crime. Many of those arrested are repeat offenders placed on GPS or electronic monitoring. Devices designed to help keep track of an offender. It's not real time and no one's going to come get you. I mean, that's just where they are. Bates says it can take days, even weeks, or until a child is arrested for another crime before his office and the court are notified that there is an ankle monitor violation. Oftentimes what we're seeing is, you know, we may see a number of robberies. The young people have been placed on electronic home detention. Within hours, if not, you know, sooner, they go right back to the same location to let everybody know that they've been let out. Under a new law, starting November 1st, the Department of Juvenile Services is supposed to notify the court within 24 hours of a violation. And so we... Baltimore County State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger voiced his frustrations yesterday on WBAL radio. He also mentioned this. If you're on monitoring and you're at home, uh, there's not a duty for the parent to necessarily call when you leave, leave that monitor. I've heard some people like, oh, you want parents to snitch on your children. That is a street mentality. The straight stop snitching. That is not called parenting. Parenting is holding your children accountable. We have to understand and explain what all the resources are to you. And then if you've made the consistent decision that you just thrown your hands up, then I think maybe we have to get child protective services. And we've learned prosecutors are not the only ones who want to hold DJS accountable. Defense attorney Warren Brown on WBAL Radio's TJ Smith show. There's no consequences, nothing to, to, to frighten these kids away. They have uh, no clue as to what lay ahead of them in the adult system. Brown is calling for a federal investigation. He wants the Department of Justice to look at DJS. Um, get in there and from the, the, do an evaluation from top to bottom. Now, Brown says the investigation should focus on the goals of juvenile services and how to reach them. 11 News Investigates did contact DJS about electronic monitoring. We're still waiting for a response. Reporting live, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.